Yo, what's up guys? What's up YouTube, yo? Very, very tired. Fuck it. So about to leave work now. Um, and let's for some de-stressing. So I decided I'm gonna go and work in the garage a little bit. As funny as that sounds, it does um, it does ease my stress a little bit. Just get into the garage and then we're gonna start working on the Mazda 3 to 3. So I'll wait. See you guys soon. Oh, wait, my bro. Give me a uh, hundred bucks, please, man. Hundred bones. How are you today, my bro? How are you doing? I'm alright, man. Just you, man. You nah, nah, don't worry about that, my bro, man. <laughs> In the past two weeks, I got stuck twice without petrol. Um, all because I'm too lazy to pull into a garage. I'd rather just stop. <laughs> So first things first, we need organization and planning, brother. You must plan. Um, I don't do any, any work unless it's on a board. It's been planned, mapped out, Alice. So um, yeah, let me just set up the board over here um, and then get the list going and then we can get started with the work. spelling no? <laughs> it's about knowing what you need to do so don't judge <laughs> yo yo I promise I'm gonna make it that time It's all good and well. Um, the next problem is trying to find a place to put all the fucking wheels. Let's see what we can do. As you 
you can see around me, space is very, very, very limited. Prime real estate. Um, but I think I managed to find a, a little spot. Ugh, I think that spot's not being used at the moment. So that's gonna have to do for now. Not perfect, but I have to respect my body's work, so I'm gonna try my best but to keep it a pitchy good at least. Yeah, before when I was building the car, I didn't give a damn, and it took a lot of effort to get it back to a point where it was at least, at least shining a little bit. So, Guys, whenever you're taking bolts out of somewhere, wherever you can, wherever I can, I always try and put the bolts back in the same holes. That way when it's time to fit the pots, you're not running around looking for bolts because you have it right in the pot. Coolant smells kind of like Evos. I don't know why it smells like Evos now, and I smart to eat the Evo. How the fuck did I get this in there? I'm gonna have to take this completely off. <laughs> Back to when I used to work in the fucking sun and rain out in the open or at a club. But yeah, um, so okay, we have got the radiator out, the front end is off. So um, we are going to be working on this here, right? So you see here how it's cracked. I was trying to explain to you guys in the first video that I made, but somebody did a repair job here and welded this bar in. And this whole bar moves back and forth. So you can see the this mount that's mounted to this, which is a subframe that runs under the engine. And um, unfortunately, it does move. So we're gonna be bracing this whole front again and then re-drilling holes and um, strengthening that up. From here, I still need to take off uh, this, obviously this intake piping, the intake itself needs to come off because we're going to be working at the mount at the back and then the shifter and a few other things, a few other things, no, just the shifter, the intake, 
Oh wait, that's about it. I think so. There will be more. You'll see more if there is more. But um, yeah, let's get to it. You're always forgetting something. Um, yeah, so I got the intake off. We also need to take off this branch um, and the exhaust. And the reason for that is at the back here where we're going to work on that mount there, um, we're gonna need the space because like the holes are threaded in the box. So they're gonna need the space to be able to re-thread that holes. So the exhaust must come off. I must pull the loom back through didn't disconnect the battery um, which I should have did first but yeah uh, didn't disconnect it that must come off shifter link must come off and then uh, we need to take the steering rack off as well so there's the mount at the back so like I was explaining the last time there's one two and a third all at the bottom first one and that one is threaded and then there's another one at the back that I'm not using which I want to use so that must be replaced and then we're going to add bracing, so I need to take this steering rack off also, the exhaust which is there at the back, um, that exhaust needs to come off so that they can work here. Uh, the loom, some of the water piping must come out, so yeah, and then obviously if the steering rack is coming off, I'm going to have to make loose here, I don't think I'm going to take the hub off completely, but I might as well because we are going to be putting other shocks in here as well, but for the sake of space in the garage, I think I'm going to leave the hubs on for now. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for tonight. Um, yeah, I need to get done for work, but uh, that's all I'm going to do for tonight. Tomorrow we'll pick up again, so I'm just going to clean up my garage. Yeah, pick up with you guys tomorrow again. Tomorrow. Use the shaky work, but you see this plate. This plate here is it's supposed to have it has a pole like this running to the front, right? And that keeps this uh, shifter. This is the bottom of the shifter, by the way. It keeps it stable when you're changing into gears, in and out of gears. So I thought that this broke. So this was like the makeshift thing that we just put on here to keep it in place. I actually need to make a plate that sits over it properly and keeps it in place but it, the gears are much stiffer when you when you have this mounted directly but anyway I thought that this broke off and that's why it was loose but it's not it's still right so that is kaka poo poo that's bad news um, I, I mean I could have credited to some of this play in here which wasn't there before it could be some of that um, because it definitely feels so so this is the shift that goes into the back of the box here when you change gears it moves this thing right so it's going into first and second pretty easy um sorry that's third and fourth the problem is fifth first and second any gears we need to turn
Okay, so that's now neutral. If I pull it back, that's fourth gear. See how it has less play. All the way forward, that's third gear. So then this would be first. So pull down and push forward. <coughs> no first. I got second. That's first. But it seems to me like the problem is inside this box. Inside the shifter. I think so. Um, I'll have to get someone to check it out. So I'm probably going to end, end up taking it to um, Yatta, Riyadh. Uh, probably going to take it to him, to Yatta's works, and um, have him check the box out. Because I mean, I'm no, no key box expert. But to me, it feels like this problem is inside this box. Because, um, yeah, it's very, very difficult to get the gears. So yeah, if anybody knows anything about, about this kind of issue, uh, please feel free to go ahead and comment down below. I, um, yeah, I definitely won't mind some advice. But for now, it seems to me like the gearbox must come out. It seems to be the gearbox, so we might need to take the gearbox out. I also have issues um, with fifth gear with this box. It never wanted to go into fifth gear, which is really horrible to drive like for long distance or whatever, because um, there was a stage where the fifth gear was working. And I can tell you, with this engine in fifth gear in this chassis, it feels crazy. Like, it's so much fun to be able to go so quick with a chassis that was only meant to be driving at 120 with that 1300 engine. But anyway, so the fifth gear needs to be fixed. The second gear was grinding, and now I'm not getting first, second, and fifth. Um, and it was all problematic to begin with. So, it is what it is. Um, I did want to take the box out to get those threads fixed as well but in the next video on this car specifically um, we are going to be fixing up the mounts in the front fixing up the mounts in the front and the back before we take the box out making sure that everything still lines up and is, is, is proper and then we can end up taking up out the box and uh, fixing that up um, away <laughs> um, so yeah like I was saying um, if you guys enjoy the content, if you enjoy what we do here, if you enjoy this ball, um, please feel free to go ahead and like the video, comment below if you have something to say, even if you want to talk rubbish, if you notice I respond to all the comments, um, and please take one second of your time and subscribe, I would really appreciate it, if the channel grows, then I can continue to do this, and hopefully pull the bucky up as well, um, in the near future. So, um, yeah, subscribe me, subscribe. Anyway, safe guys, bad boys, we out, peace. Subscribe, Marsha. Subscribe!